Today, I'm giving every starting quarterback in the NFL a 99 overall attribute. This wheel right here is going to decide which attribute they get boosted. We have speed, awareness, throw power, short, medium, and deep accuracy, throw on a run, throw under pressure, break sack, and play action. First up, 76 overall, Justin Fields is going to get a boost to his play action from an 82 to a 99. Also, I use the ESPN's depth charts to tell me who the starter is. So we're going to go with whatever they say, unless it's Denver because Wilson should still be the starter. They benched him because of some contract stuff. 93 overall, Joe Burr is going to get a nice boost to his throw under pressure. That goes from a 94, which was already really good, to a 99. 92 overall, Josh Allen is going to get a nice boost to his play action, which was already a 94. 75 overall, Dangerous Wilson. Going to get a nice boost to his deep accuracy from an 85 to a 99. 74 overall, Deshaun Watson is going to be the first quarterback in this video to get 99 speed. Make it two quarterbacks in a row. 79 overall, Baker Mayfield also gets 99 speed. 77 overall, Kyler is going to increase his break sack all the way up to a 99. He's already a great scrambler, so this one could uh, do wonders for him. 87 overall, Justin Herbert going to get a boost to his awareness from an 85 to a 99. Mahomes is already a max overall, but now his break sack is going to be a max overall as well. 74 overall, Anthony Richardson is one of those quarterbacks that could actually really use the awareness that he landed on. It goes from a 78 to a 99. 73 overall, Washington Commanders quarterback Sam Howell also gets a nice upgrade to his awareness. 90 overall, Dak Prescott is going to increase his max. Okay, the medium accuracy going all the way up to a 99. 88 overall to a tongue of Iloa is going to increase his throne run from an 87 to a 99. 87 overall Jalen Hurts is going to increase his deep accuracy from an 88 to a 99. 68 overall Taylor Heineke is going to go up 30 overalls in terms of awareness from a 69 to a 99. Great spin for him. 85 overall Brock Purdy going to increase his play action up to the max OVR. 71 overall Danny Dimes. Going to increase his throw and a run from 81 to 99. 76 overall, Trevor Lawrence. Going to go up to a 99 break sack. 83 overall, Aaron Rodgers is going to turn back the clock a little bit. Increase his throw power to a 99. Good spin for 82 overall, Jared Goff. He's going to increase his throw under pressure. Should help him out a lot. 81 overall, Jordan Love. Going to get a nice boost to his throw power. He goes up four overall. Back to back, great spins. This time it's 72 overall, Bryce Young getting an increase to his throw power. He goes up six overalls. Probably the funniest one of the video. We have Bailey Zappi, 64 overall. He's actually going to increase his Mac. <laughs> I know, how, how ironic. I mean, come on, man. Just a spit in the face of Mac Jones. 67 overall, Aiden O'Connell going to get a good spin. He's increasing his throw power up to a 99. We have 83 overall, Matt, increasing his Mac. Okay, the medium accuracy going all the way up to a 99. 98 overall, Lamar Jackson already has max awareness. So unfortunately, he's going to stay at a 98. 75 overall, Derek Carr going to increase his break sack from a 46 to a 99 has to be the biggest attribute upgrade so far. 78 overall, Geno Smith going to increase his throw power from an 88 to a 99. 66 overall, Mason Rudolph going to increase his short accuracy from an 84 to a 99. 80 overall, CJ Stroud should be higher than what he is in my opinion, but he's going to get a boost to his short accuracy as well from a 90 to a 99. Goes up three overalls. 70 overall, Will Levis going to increase his throw under pressure from a 79 to a 99. And finally, 84 overall, Kirk Cousins going to go up 24 attribute points in terms of speed. So every start quarterback has been upgraded. Let me know your predictions down below. Which quarterback's going to take the biggest leap and maybe take their team the farthest let me know your super bowl predictions right now here's what the afc stands are looking like jaguars tied for the best record with the ravens bengals jets make it with rogers colts with an improved richardson and the chiefs barely squeak in a couple nine and eight teams broncos chargers don't make it. the bills seven and ten same record as the browns and the texans afc was really tough nfc led by the 15 and two cowboys eagles one game behind them packers with an improved love 
above end up 12 and 5 lions falcons with an improved heineke saints and the niners barely squeaking at nine and eight that's crazy so what do you guys think are there any surprises in terms of the standings on both sides Dak prescott wins mvp hurts and mahomes right behind him afc's opoy goes to josh jacobs dpoy goes to crosby aiden hutchinson gets it in the nfc and jalen wins opoy might as well go team by team look at the quarterback stats oh burrow 46 touchdowns that's the one that stands out so far watson threw a good amount of interceptions a lot of these quarterbacks throwing a lot of interceptions kyler only one more touchdown unfortunately herbert good ratio same with mahomes richardson we're gonna check their rushing stats too but first oh my goodness 51 touchdowns only nine picks great season for mr prescott hurts did his thing as well he probably rushed for a good amount Purdy with a good ratio daniel jones did pretty decent lawrence rogers uh you know great throw power just slinging that thing around look at love though 35 to 2 touchdown interception ratio way too many interceptions for bryce young bailey zappy o'connell kept the ints down lamar kept it down tremendously Carr with a good ratio gino once again oh my goodness mason rudolph probably the worst one we've seen so far 13 touchdowns 16 picks maybe the only quarterback to throw more interceptions than touchdowns looking at the quarterback rushing stats lamar looks like he has the most rushing yards 11 touchdowns i think that's second behind hurts who had 14 richardson had nine a lot of good stats in terms of rushing for these quarterbacks now we have three quarterbacks that got an increase to their speed that was kirk cousins who had one rushing touchdown baker mayfield who had two rushing touchdowns and deshaun watson who almost had 400 yards rushing with two rushing touchdowns now as for everyone else jacobs had the most rushing yards henry was second mixon ended up third mccaffrey i think was in the top five maybe top 10 henry had the most rushing touchdowns quick scroll through if you need to slow it down if you want to look at uh you know who was in there feel free to do so cd lamb had the most receiving yards rasheed rice and kelsey two chiefs in the top three and somehow they barely squeaked into the playoffs man that's crazy there's everyone that got a thousand yards receiving only two guys had a hundred plus receptions in the entire league man kelsey is just different 17 receiving touchdowns for lamb gallup and rice in the top three so the cowboys have two of the top three guys in terms of receiving touchdowns 17 and a half sacks for hutchinson leads the entire league crosby ties with tj watt with 14 and a half mac and parsons round out the top five certain and gilmore had the most interceptions with six a couple other guys had five and then a bunch of guys had four in a wild card the dolphins beat the jags packers lose to the saints jets take care of the colts lions beat the falcons kansas city goes out early to the bengals and the eagles take care of the niners eight teams remaining about to cut it to four my question is are the two teams that you picked to go all the way still in the running how about now lions cowboys ravens and bengals the final four dolphins lose by 18 to baltimore saints lose a thriller against the cowboys jets lose a one score game and so do the eagles bengals start off with the football burrow back healthy on the field trips to the left free release oh they're sending the blitz burrow recognizes it throws off his back foot that's a laser t higgins getting them a huge game they've been having a lot of success from shotgun raven send a blitz it doesn't matter that higgins from burrow connection is lethal since he takes the first lead oh wow first play from scrimmage for baltimore lamar loses four remember he increased his awareness so he's one of the few quarterbacks that didn't really get an upgrade hey man he's only a 98 overall which is still really good lamar with a nice laser to zay flowers they keep the chains moving avoid three and now here comes another read option this time they let lamar get loose first down they're across midfield empty backfield here comes the blitz lamar up the gut quarterback draw he's up to 33 yards on the ground already oh zay flowers again that connection was phenomenal the entire drive we have a tie game another blitz for baltimore burrows throw under pressure is what we increased and you can see it on display right there nice laser now it's the ravens turn to try to get off the field hold them to three third and nine burrow to the end zone nice swat by marlon humphrey first drive for the ravens in half number two down three let's see if lamar can make a play oh he's gonna take off and pick up the first down he's across the 40 another third down situation for lamar this time he's going deep odell beckham with the catch lamar gonna scramble and get the touchdown off the read option ravens take the lead third and six for the bengals gotta keep pace burrow fires to his favorite target jamar chase play 
play action for Burrow. He's going over the middle. Tyler Boyd gets them right outside the red zone. First and goal for Cincy. Burrow gonna find Mixon, who gets the touchdown. Bengals take the lead back. Third and 17 right here. They don't get it. They might punt and trust their defense. They have all three timeouts, so it's not a must that they go for it on fourth down. Lamar still gonna sling it deep. Another big gain. Odell has come up clutch time and time again. Destroy that like button if you're liking more gameplay. I'm gonna start watching almost the entire game, or pretty much the entire game in every video. So you guys will uh, get a lot more gameplay as Lamar throws the game losing interception. Cincinnati is gonna waltz their way into the Super Bowl or even score a late touchdown, but it's too little too late. Lions get ball first in this one. Third and six, empty backfield for golf. He increased his throw under pressure and he's gonna need it. Unfortunately for him, he cannot get rid of it. Cowboys force a three and out. Third and one for Dallas on their first drive. Dak to Ferguson. They're across midfield. Prescott going deep. Ferguson gets them inside the 20. Second and goal. Pollard gonna get the carry. Here's Hutchinson with the tackle. You can see why he was DPOI. Next play, third down and goal. Cowboys give it to their fullback, Lipke, and they take the lead. Lions gotta try to keep pace. Third down and two on their next drive. Empty backfield. Goff can't complete it to his receiver. They're gonna have to punt it again. Cowboys looking to add to their lead. First and goal. Pollard up the gut. 14-0. Cowboys. Goff looking to get something going. He's going deep to the right side. There we go. His receiver makes a play. Lions end up settling for three, but at least they get something on the scoreboard. Cowboys with another strong drive. Trying to go up three possessions. Hutchinson with the great tackle for a loss. He's come up clutch when they needed it. Let's see if he can do it again. Second and goal. Pollard gets the touchdown. Cowboys running away with this. Lions end up getting some late game touchdowns, but they still go home 24-17. Dallas versus Cincinnati in the Super Bowl. Bengals get ball first. Remember, Burrow increases throw under pressure. He finds Jamar Chase, who cuts it to the outside. You already know he has the speed. Finally getting tackled after picking up 40 yards on that one. Third and goal. Cincinnati trying to get a touchdown, and they do. Burrow to Higgins. Dak Prescott on the Cowboys' first drive. Going to find his receiver, Michael Gallup. Gallup in his way across midfield. Cowboys on first and goal. Going to go to their fullback again, Lipke, who ties it up. Next Bengals possession, second and 10. Burrow looking for Chase. Instead, he finds Stephon Gilmore. Cowboys with the INT. Dallas looking to get some points off that turnover. Dak escaping the pocket, finding Brandon Cooks. Cowboys take the lead. You knew Burrow's not going to stop slinging a rock. He finds Chase over the middle. Very next play. Play action. This time he's going to Tyler Boyd. Just like that there in field goal range. Only one timeout left for Cincy. He has to go to the end zone right here. Comes the blitz. Burrow throwing another interception. Gilmore gets his second. Dallas has all the momentum right now. Cowboys get ball first in half number two. Deck over the middle to CD Lamb. He's going to go down, but not until the Cowboys are in field goal range. Dak increasing his medium accuracy has done wonders for this Cowboys offense. Can they extend their lead to two possessions? Yes! Brandon Cooks with another touchdown. 21-7. Cowboys on top. Bengals gotta get back into it. Burrow on first down. Gonna throw another one. Trevon Diggs this time. He's gonna take it to the crib. And that might be all she wrote. 42-14. Dak Prescott getting his medium accuracy improved helped him bring a super bowl to dallas hopefully you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new and i'll see you on the next one